Hi, and welcome to lesson 7 of HTML and CSS. All the code you see is available at www.tomakewebsite.com. So we'll take a look at what we've done so far. We've created our main page, which again has the header, left section, main section, right section, some headings, some paragraphs, and a table of links over here. The previous lesson, we added our friends page, which has a couple of pictures, a brief description about them, and a border around each one. Each of these is a table, so it's one row, two columns, one row, two columns, just to neaten it out. Today, we're going to look at the My Video page. So, first thing we'll do is we'll go to the website, and we'll copy the code from there. So in our video.html, we will paste that over the top and save. Then we'll go back, grab our style.css code, copy that, and paste over the top of what was there before, and hit save. Now if we go to look at this, again, as always, our HTML, our head, our title, our divisions, there's our container, header, left side, Here's our table with all our links to our pages. So my home goes to index.html, my friends goes to friends.html. Now down here in our main section, we've got a heading there. Then we've created this new division, id equals wrapper. So let's take a quick look at that in the style. Similar to our photos, we wanted to add a little bit of presentation around the outside of our video file. So we created this wrapper id. It has a margin of 30 pixels, has a particular width, particular background color, some padding, a border around it, and its position is relative. So then we've embedded the object. Now we've selected a local file, but rather than uh, using our bandwidth to stream this, what we might do is we'll just delete that object there. I'm going to grab one from YouTube. So if you go grab one of your YouTube videos, you see over here, you've got this embed tag here. Just put your cursor in there, select it all, copy it, go back to your video, and paste it in there. Now you can have it all in one line, or you can just separate it out to make it look neater. Now, to put a video there, it's this object tag. You give it a width and a height. You give it a name and a value. Its value is where it's coming from, so if it's a local file as before, it would just be the name of the file. If it's in a folder, you'd reference that. Here, it goes to the YouTube site. Then we've got another parameter, and there's some more attributes there. Here's some more allow script access. And here is where we actually embed the video. So embed in the source. And again, this is exactly the same as the value up here. So that's the YouTube address. There's some more attributes here of width and height. We end the embed and we end the object. So we'll just save that now. And we'll take a look at what it looks like on our site. So we'll open up video. And here you can see, we've got our wrapper around the outside, which gives a neat little border. And then we've got our video, which is streaming from YouTube, so it's not taking up all our bandwidth. That's all for this lesson. Come back again and you'll learn some more.